Hello everyone. Um, I thought I would film a quick video just reviewing a little bit of candy that I actually got at Universal Studios. So a little bit of backstory. I actually wanted to film this video like a week ago when I filmed my introduction video, but you know, life gets away from you sometimes. So we're filming it now. Also, say hello to Scanlon. This is Scanlon. He's our little boy. Love him to death. He'll be making quite a few appearances in these videos. So a little bit of backstory on how I got this stuff. I had never been to Universal Studios before. I've been going to Florida for quite some time, going to Disney quite a bit, never had been to Universal Studios. And the reason for that is I didn't have the chance to go to Florida very often. And because I'm such a Disney-holic, when I got the chance, I couldn't convince myself not to go to Disney. So we just always went to Disney. Uh, my mother and I, actually, we wanted to go on a trip somewhere, but Disney's gotten a little bit expensive lately, so we're like, well, we don't want to spend too much money, but we do want to go somewhere. And we vacillated over a bunch of different places. We vacillated over, like, Las Vegas, Myrtle Beach, stuff like that. And we finally decided on Universal Studios, because we'd never been, and it just looked really cool. And I am immensely glad that we did go, because I fell in love with the place. I cannot wait to go back. So much fun. Um, one thing that I really liked about Universal Studios was the food. There was lots of different foods, like snacks and everything, and it was very hot. We were running around a lot. I didn't get to try as much as I really wanted to try, so next time. Next time. Um, but one thing that I really liked is they have lots of little snacks and especially candy themed after their various rides and also based on various characters that belong to the Universal, like, umbrella. So I got some of that. Each one of these items, I got six chocolate bars and one other thing, and each of these is probably going to be its own video. But I just wanted to make this kind of introduction video to maybe, like, an introduction to show what I have and what you guys look can look forward to me trying in the future. So I'll start with the chocolate bars. I got six of them. Um, and I'm going to try these randomly. I'm going to have probably my fiancé pick which one I try in videos, but... So let's go through them here. First off, I have the Minions Coconut and Banana Smoothie Flavored Bar. Right here. Um, now I actually meant to get a different Minions chocolate bar. Um, I didn't realize there was two of them. I meant to get, um, the chocolate banana one, which I think they have. Um, I didn't realize there was two of them, so I just grabbed the one that had minions on it, and while this isn't exactly what I was expecting to get, this also sounds really good, so I'm excited to try that. Uh, let's see, I got the Spongebob White Chocolatey Pineapple Bar with pineapple bits. This looks really good. I definitely think that Spongebob got the like the small end of the stick there, because yes, Spongebob Store Pants is a great store, it's really heavily themed. But that's the only Spongebob that's in the park. I don't really get it. However, I can't really think of where they would be able to integrate more Spongebob without getting rid of E.T. And I don't want to get rid of E.T. because I loved that ride. Maybe they could do, like... Because I know they got rid of Shrek 4D recently, and I never got the chance to see that, which I'm a little bummed about. But maybe they could put, like, a Spongebob ride in there. I think that would be really good. But... That sounds delicious. Um, I got Donkey's Waffle Bar, which is a maple flavored bar with waffle cone pieces. Uh, the classic, I'm uh, making waffles in the morning from Donkey, which I know that's not the quote, but I can't really do the Donkey voice. So I'm not going to try because it's just going to embarrass me. But I, growing up in Maine and living in New Hampshire, I love maple, of course. So this I'm really excited for. Uh, I got another Shrek bar. This one is the Swamp Bar, which is the Cookies and Cream Bar. I like Shrek. <laughs> I like Shrek quite a bit, so I'm excited for this as well. Also, I was kind of expecting it to be like, like maybe have a green cream side or something, but Cookies and Cream, you can't beat it. Um, next, I got the One Fish, Two Fish, Gummy Fish, which is a white chocolate and gummy fish chocolate bar. I really liked the, um, the Dr. Seuss area. 
in Islands of Adventure. Islands of Adventure, I think, was probably my favorite park. I really liked it. Um, so excited to try this. Also, I love gummy food. <laughs> Gummies are, like, amazing. And finally, I got the Jurassic Park Dinosaur Fossil Bar, which is milk chocolate with candy bones. Jurassic Park. Amazing. Amazing movie, amazing area in the parks, and amazing rides. Well, ride. <laughs> um, I... I'm on the digger side, I'm on a diet right now, which is why each of these will be its own video instead of trying them all in this one single video. Um, but I could not fit on a lot of the rides at Universal Studios. I'm not like the biggest person in the world, but I'm a little bit fluffy as I say. One thing about Universal that I didn't quite understand was there was a lot of rides that I was unable to ride as a bigger person, which didn't really makes sense to me because I can ride everything at Disney. Everything. But none of the roller coasters I could ride at, Dis at uh, Universal Studios. So that includes Velocicoaster Hulk, Rip Ride Rocket, and I couldn't ride the Harry Potter rides. The only Harry Potter ride I could go on was Flight of the Hippogriff, which was an awesome little roller coaster. It was great. I loved it, but I hope by the next time I go, be able to fit on at least one more of those so fingers crossed <laughs> um, and finally they have a lot of different cotton candy at Universal Studios and I love getting the little buckets of cotton candy at Disney and when I saw that they had all different varieties at Universal Studios I had to try some so I got the Minions one which is a chocolate and banana cotton candy and if you know me at all, you know why I got this one, because I love, well, first off, chocolate's always good. <laughs> I love banana. I love banana flavored things. I will choose banana almost, almost over anything. So I got this one. And this is actually what we're going to try today. Um, so yeah, it's this pickle with me, mini mayhem, chocolate and banana cotton candy. So let's try that. Yeah, I meant to do these videos a lot earlier, but I got ridiculously sick after I got back from Universal. Like, horribly sick. I had, thankfully not COVID, but I got bronchitis. And I was like, I was down for the count for a while. Then after that, obviously I had to catch up with everything. So the videos kind of went on the back burner. I'm finally going to try this. Sealed on the inside. Let's open this up. Oh good, that was actually a lot easier to open up than I thought it was going to be, so I didn't have to cut. Okay, let's throw that away. Now, the smell. Oh, it smells really good. It doesn't really have maybe a faint chocolate smell, but it just smells like sugar. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing. Mm, okay. So obviously it's two-tone, so I'm assuming the brown is the chocolate and the yellow is the banana. That would make the most sense. So I'm going to try just a little bit of the yellow first. It's the yellow. Wow. That is intense. Wow. You better like banana if you're gonna get this. That is immediate banana. Wow. Let's try a little bit of the chocolate. Oh, that chocolate's really good too. It tastes like the chocolate is more subtle than the banana, but it tastes like um, like hot chocolate like a hot chocolate powder. It's really good. Now we're going to try, that's a little big piece. Um, we're going to try a little bit of the banana and the chocolate together. It's kind of hard to grab specific pieces of this. So chocolate, <laughs> I have to remember where my camera is. Chocolate and banana together.
Mm. Eating them together, the chocolate definitely tones down the banana. And it's really good together. So this was definitely, oh, I'm really excited about this. I have so much left. I love this. The banana is really intense banana flavor on its own, which I love. But if you are only a casual fan of banana flavored things, you might be a little bit taken aback. The chocolate is very good and combining them together just gives you this chocolate covered banana deliciousness. Yep, that is definitely good. I definitely recommend buying this. I don't remember how much this cost. That's the only thing that I was wanted to say. Like the chocolate bars don't have a price on the minor. So I don't remember what any of these cost. Like if I had done this video earlier, like I intended, I probably would have had the prices written down. <laughs> But I don't remember what it was. I want to say that the cotton candy was like $5. And I think... I think the chocolate bars are $5 each. I want to say that's what it was, but I don't remember. I'm going to be much better about this in the future in all my new food reviews because I'm actually going to remember to write down the prices of things. But... Universal Studios Chocolate and Banana Minions Cotton Candy. Definitely a recommendation from me. But again, I really like banana flavored things. If you don't, you're not going to like this. Probably not. Um, but yeah, so thanks for joining me on my first official food review. Um, we've got many more to go in the future and these are just the chocolate bars. We're going to be doing a whole lot more food reviews in the future from all sorts of different places. Um, this is just my first one because I happen to have this really cool stuff here. But yeah, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!